Hey everyone, test one, two, alright, my mic is working now, so that was interesting, I did this whole entire build and my mic was not working, so I'm going to redo it, but this is what it looks like when it is completed, there's a variation of it, you can do this or you can do this, one or two uh, things, I don't want, it's definitely not a steeple, uh, that's more like a church. But, yeah, so we're, we're going to do this again, um, and my mic is on and working this time. So, this is a barn that I am using. This is like a barn style that I am using for my Let's Play world. So this is going to be in another tutorial uh, playlist for that world. Um, I will be doing a castle and I'm trying to get some kinks out of this yeah that's pretty cool so I'll do a tutorial on how this works um, I haven't seen one that's done this way I didn't watch a YouTube video so if somebody else does something like this that's cool but I was really trying to make this on my own so which I was able to do so we're going to focus on this bulk item storage building so it, it's fairly simple and we're, go we're going to start off with some spruce logs you can use any of these logs uh, probably not the birch logs <laughs> but anyway we're going to go th four up three over and then four up four up three over four up three over so that's what we're going to do so we're going to do that four times so there's going to be four archways So we'll do that. One more. Uh, no, what? Not one more. Whoop! Just made it a little bigger. So yeah. So we're going to do this again, but we're only going to have two archways on this side, and then we are just going to copy and paste. It is going to be a rectangular building. Nothing too crazy. And again. So you should have something that looks like this. So four up, three over. You can make it longer, you can make it wider, but this is the style I enjoy. So what we're going to do is now, this is going to be a throw away block. So get, get some dirt and go three up. Like, like that. And then we're going to do that at each one of these points here. And we're pretty much doing the same thing down there, but on a smaller scale. So two. And then another two. And another two. Sorry, three. It's twos in between here. See? One block, two block. So it's going to be a four, 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 four in, in between here. Alright, so we're going to keep doing that. When you get to here, it's going to be three blocks. Like so. And then it's going to be two blocks again. So this, we're just doing the framing on this for right now. So this, this is it. This is the frame. All made out of logs. See? Like that. Now we're going to go up again. Another four. I believe it's another four. Let me, let me check that out. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, four, five. We're going up five. One more there. All right, so this is the framing of our build. Very simple. Now you can use, of course, any block, but I'm going for like a medieval rustic fantasy style. I don't even know. I'm going for that style, whatever you think that is. So you could use deep slate. You could use cobbled deep slate. I'm just going to use good old cobblestone. 
and you're just going going to go along the perimeter like this <clears throat> and take out this and take out that so those are going to be your doorways now everywhere where there's a pillar here you don't need that cobblestone right there if you don't want to some people you know like it but I, I kind of like the depth that this creates so I'm going around and making sure that is visible so we're just on filling the holes here I'm gonna keep a window there and this one Oop. window on the corner now you don't of course you don't have to do the windows at all you can just have it blank inside here which is fine all right now we do want to close off the top cap here so the wood is sitting on something so that's that's what you got now. So that gives depth to the build and it just looks pretty cool. So these are going to be doorways. So let's let's make them look like doorways. Perfect. All right. Now you can use whatever flooring you like. Since I am in creative, I am going to use deep. Nope. I am not going to use deep slate. I'm going to use dark oak slabs planks 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 you could use slabs if you want to but I don't feel like doing that right now so dark oak for the floor I think I used spruce slabs in my let's play world Yeah, there we go. So that's what it looks like right now. So it's coming along. It, it's, again, very, very simple. Not a lot of materials, just wood and cobblestone so far. And some planks. Now that that is done, we can fill in the top floor. So, again, calcite, hard to come by unless you have a lot of geodes in your world. So I'm just going to fill in the top layer with calcite it always takes me takes me back a bit because i hear how uh the calcite sounds it's like a little ding it's very faint but it's there so you could also use diorite you could also use you know iron if you're a rich person you could even use birch logs which we'll actually use these sorry we'll use the stripped birch logs right now actually So you're making an L shape like that for the roof. Is that three up? Yeah, two up is fine. Perfect. All right. So far, that that's pretty much it. Just wood, calcite. Again, you can use. I use this in my survival world, just because I have not found a geode yet. Which is fine, because this is very close to this. You know, it's like a grainy type of texture. It's like a plaster type of look. So yeah, there we go. And then we will do the roof. Now the roof took me a bit to understand how to do it. I am very used to doing just a-frame roofs so this roof consists of oh, hold on. let me find it let me find it there it is these three four blocks so on the edges we are going to do that and then that's what it's gonna look like like that so we just do 
this. So stair, stair, stair underneath, stair underneath, cobblestone, stair, stair underneath, cobblestone, stair, stair light right there, and stair right there. So that's one side. Let's do the next side. So stair underneath here, stair underneath right there, cobblestone, <clears throat> excuse me, stair, stair, cobblestone, stair. Perfect. That That's it. And now we just connect them. So if you, if you guys and gals like these tutorials, I'll keep doing them. I just thought it would be interesting to see all the buildings that I build in my survival let's play. I'll build in a tutorial. At least the ones that require a tutorial to, to build. Some of them are going to be just tiny little huts. But, you know, n nothing hard. I'm not, a, I'm not a great builder. I like smaller builds. I can't build castles. That's like as much as I can do for right now. But again, this is creative, so it's easier to build in creative. <laughs> so, but I will keep doing them. Uh, it shows you guys what you can do and what I am testing. So this is my test world. So I tested it on that building right there. I built the building here. Then I built it in my world. Then I built this as my first tutorial and my audio didn't record. So now I am doing it again. So anyway, enough about that. So it's just building a roof. Fairly simple. But uh, yeah, I'll keep doing these tutorials if you want them. And if there's something that I have not shown how to do or make, you can definitely, you know, put in the comments that you want to see it. Because I, I will, I'm up for suggestions on things that you would like me to build. So you can follow along and play. Just definitely thought that this would give a little bit more content to my channel that I'm starting out. So perfect. All right. So that's done. Now we just need to copy this over here. And go underneath with the slabs. There you go, and the roof is done. Uh, actually, it's not technically done. It still needs some slabs. There we go. Now, if you're using this build as a house, you can stop here and just decorate it how you see see fit but in this case in my survival let's play it is going to be a barn warehouse whatever you would like to call it so I'm going to style it up a little bit different in my test world here I did two I'm just going to do one little tower at the top so you find center right here this is center and you don't need these blocks Perfect. And actually, you don't need these blocks either. You don't get your spruce. And just, you need a placeholder block. Doesn't matter what it is, just placeholder right there so you can build on top. Like so. So you got one, two, three. And we're going to do two more. Like so. Again, those are placeholder blocks down at the bottom, so you do not need them to complete this. And then at the top here, we're just going around in circles with these stairs at the very top here. And then we're going to do stairs again after the planks. 
and then you can put a plank on the top right there now we need a that's not how you spell it there you go lightning rod and for this you can use any type you could use a fence you could use another block you can put this right on there but I'm gonna use the black stone and put this upside down so that is more looking like a barn slash warehouse type of thing got the ventilation at the top so that's pretty cool and all I'm going to go back up here and I am going to fill in this for the time being and I'm going to get the oak trap doors and do this actually put a block right there perfect one more block right there and there we go now go inside and you don't need these right here let me get some type of light so yeah so you don't need those blocks where you set them at and you don't need this these placeholders right here we only put them in there for the time being and then we want to get a jack-o-lantern if you're like more towards the end of the game you don't have to use a jack-o-lantern uh, you can use anything that you find in the nether or whatnot but put a jack-o-lantern up there they're just cheap cheap to make so that gives it light and then from there we can now trade that in for a new trapdoor the spruce trapdoors and we're just going to do an archway in the front now on survival you don't have to do this I mean it looks pretty good and if you don't want to waste material on, you know, decorative, decorative archways and stuff like this, you don't have to. When I'm in survival, I like the front of the building to look like this. And then the back of the building where I'm not really going to see it, I'm just going to keep plain, like so. I will do the sides here. Just one side. Oop. There we go. Look at that. Now, get your oak fence. You can use glass or stained glass, and you just want to fill in these windows so no mobs can just barge in. I don't think skeletons can fire their arrows through the fences that I am not sure about and we need to brighten this up like so all right and then you can decorate the inside as much as possible you can decorate the outside as much as possible or as much as you want And that's what I do to lighten it up so now that you know the frame and everything to do about this how to build just just the basics of this build fly over here you can see how I decorated it not much at all some oak fences some you know archways and I do this around the whole entire building you don't need these, you know, behind the building, but they're cheap. And that. So when it's nighttime, your whole build is lit up. Looks nice. You can see in the top there, that's lit up. 
So mobs, mobs are still and can still, you know, spawn on maybe spawn on these slabs right here. No, it's a slab. I don't think they can spawn on slabs. Either way. And then during the day, it looks like this. Now in the inside, I didn't really decorate it except put a floor in. Now you don't need the trap doors here. You don't need the wood here. You can do another floor because you can kind of fit a person in this right here if you wanted to. You do a third floor with chests this way, but for what I'm using in my survival world, this is fine. So I'm going to actually take you to my survival world and show you what I did. All right, this is the survival let's play let's play world. And you can see I need to eat. But besides that, you can see what I did up there. It's still it still needs some work. I need to put the lightning rods at the top. I need to finish putting the trap doors up top there. I need to put the lamp post in. You know. I need to do some uh, some sprucing up of the place. But this is what I am using for my survivor world. The bulk storage. And it's good. It's really cool. Now, I did get inspiration to do these trap doors right here from a video i cannot remember it it i did not come up with this idea i have seen many builds that look i was trying to fly but i'm not in creative i was trying to build something like this fell asleep woke up at three o'clock in the morning and i watched a video that was already playing and saw some ideas if anybody knows what that video is, put it down in the comments. I will put a link in the descriptions for it um, because I do not remember who I saw do a similar project to this. But I thought this was such a great idea. This way you don't have to bother going up and down the stairs and you can just enter a chest from right here. So I thought that was a great idea. I wanted to implement that in this build. So that being said, I think this looks phenomenal. I'm very proud of it. I'm really happy about it. So come come watch the actual survival. I will be on Twitch. I'm on Twitter. I am on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, then just, you know, do the subscribe thing and the like thing and help me grow my channel. Um, I'm brand new, and these videos can only get better. So, here we are. And here are a lot of sheep. But yeah, follow me on Twitch at Frosty underscore Squids. And do a like and a subscribe for this YouTube video if you liked it. Leave a comment if you remember or have ever seen a build like this. And let me know the person's name. Alright, cool. I'm outie.